Don't go making me throw you back in there now, eh? Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Well, still have a bit of fight left in you? Then listen. I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up a scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. What the curl dragged in. Go on then. It'd better I'll be here. Rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better I'll be here. Is that all? Yes. What? Going purse weighing you down. You got out else? I'll be thankful you got that much. You got out else? Come again! Or don't. bothered either way. Come on. Gav will be waiting for us. Get your stuff together. Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Please, think about it, Clive. The rumours all point to... That was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gab. But we both know that... No buts about it.
This is stupid. I'm the dominant of fire. We sent Galv on a wild goose chase. Perfect little shortcut, Sid. Straight to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts. Oh, 
Is it, boy? After him! Don't let him escape! Gaff! <laughs> Who goes there? This one's a deserter! Take his head! Out of my way! You made your choice! Give them all you've got for us. You know what to do, boy. Ah! Uh -huh. 
Clive, what's the situation? You're late. Get us in trouble. What? The Imperials are on his tail. We have to get to him before they do. Understood. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? I'll take the dragon. You take the dragoon. <laughs> Die, you bastard! All right, one down, one to go. Come on.
Mike doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav, I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? It was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But... who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. Sid, I... Don't thank me. Thank Gav. <laughs> thank you, Gav. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> no birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Back to where it all began. He must be stopped. Spitting great gouts of fire, he was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you Clive. on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Right. <sighs> Go to her, you fool. <laughs> right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill.
It really is you. It is. Clive! You're alive. So are you. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Taya told me what happened. He saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave me a choice to fight for them on the battlefield or see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. What? What happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire. The one responsible. <sighs> Clive. When I think back to that night... The hooded man, he... He spoke to me. What did he say? Sarsis. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon, then, Clive. I shall be ready, too. We have a long journey ahead of us. We're looking at half a dozen, maybe more. Their bunks are made up. I can move on. <laughs> 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 
They even have a Moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest, and that they never reveal themselves to humans. Nectar, you say? Clive. So it would seem. That sounds... painful.